Hi, and welcome to my underwater watercolor tutorial. This is the reference photo that we are going to be painting together today. This was the reference photo that the most people voted for, and it's, it's the photo that I personally really wanted to paint because I love this little jellyfish here, and I am excited to use some metallic paints to to accent him at the center of our landscape today. I am painting with 100% cotton watercolor paper today by the brand Arsh. And the first thing we're gonna do is wet our entire paper. Starting off our landscape with wet on wet is going to allow us to paint all the different blues from the ocean and for all of our paints to blend really well together. I am going to be painting with my Polina Bright Round 2, but I recommend you grab the brush that fits your size of paper. So I'm going to grab some turquoise and I'm going to start dropping a little bit of turquoise at the very top. Now I'm going to be making smaller, shorter brush strokes to sort of signify the movement that we have at the surface of the water. I'm also going to be mindful of keeping some white space and not completely covering this turquoise layer so that it really comes off as a bright spot and what I'm doing now is just lifting a little bit of the paint so that it preserves that brightness. Now I'm going to grab some darker blues and start painting the rest of the water. I am using handmade paints, specifically these are paints by Stay Kiwi, but if you are painting along, the colors that I recommend for this part are Thalo Blue, Ultramarine, and a little bit of Payne's Gray or Indigo. I'm starting off with some medium tones for the blue and as I move to the bottom of the landscape, I'm going to get darker and darker. What I'm doing here is I'm building the color for our ocean and I am making it so that it feels like the further down we go, the deeper we go, the less light there is in the water. Now I'm going to grab some indigo and drop it at the very, very bottom to create even more so that depth. Now we are going to use a technique called lifting and we are going to create some rays of light kind of shining down into the water. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a brush and I'm basically just wiping away some of the paint to create that light. So I'm actually going to move my palette and bring my water cup down and I'm going to show you how I achieve this. So I basically rinse my brush, I tap off the extra water, and then I make one brush 
stroke down and the way I see it is that I'm painting some light. So again, I'm rinsing my brush, I'm dabbing the water off and I'm making one kind of deep brush stroke to kind of lift that paint that's still wet on the paper to create these kind of rays of light shining into our water. A few tips, don't paint the ray of light more than one brush stroke. So you'll see that I rinse my brush after each time of lifting. If I don't, it's just I'm using the very tip of my brush to sort of pick up some, but you can even see on that second brush mark that a little bit of the color does come back. And so rinsing your brush each time is going to ensure like a really clean ray of light. And I'm just, I added a little bit more indigo on the bottom and now I'm just sort of softening these um, brush marks that I did a little bit earlier on our wet, wet on wet background wash. And I really like how that turned out. So I'm going to dry this layer now. Now I'm going to grab a pencil and I'm just going to lightly sketch out the little jellyfish. I had intended to do this beforehand, but I got too excited and I forgot. If you are watching this and you haven't painted yet, I would sketch them out beforehand, but if you didn't like I did, you can always just sketch it in after. And today I'm going to be using these Lisi Linka metallic paints. These are my favorites. They're so bright and sparkly. And I'm going to use a little bit of Cosmics Creations, Laura's Shimmer Paints, in a little bit also. I am grabbing my Etcher Round 1 brush. It gives me a lot of control over my brush marks. And I'm going to grab some of the turquoise metallic paint first. And I'm going to show our reference photo again. Our little jellyfish is like half turquoise, half pink. So this right hand side, I'm going to paint in with the turquoise green metallic paint and then on the left i'm going to color him in a little bit pink i'm also going to use the lifting technique to keep the center of him a little bit kind of see-through and i'm going to paint the little tentacles with a liner brush now that I have painted in the right half side with the turquoise metallic paint, I'm now taking my paintbrush and just lifting a little bit of the color at the center so that it kind of feels like it's transparent. And now I'm picking up some pink metallic paint and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the left side. And I'm done filling it in, and now I'm going to lift some paint.
I like how the body of the jellyfish looks. Now I'm going to grab my Da Vinci Colonio size zero liner and I'm going to pick up some of the blue metallic paint and I'm going to paint in the tentacles. As I'm painting the little jellyfish tentacles, one thing that came to mind that helps me to sort of visualize what this is supposed to look like, I think when we paint, it's easy to just kind of paint a flat presentation of something like what you would see if we were to cut something in half. But I like to kind of remember that this jellyfish is a 3D object and so all these tentacles are actually going to overlap rather than just thinking that we're going to paint, you know, a bunch of lines next to each other. It helps to remember that this is a 3D object and that it's okay for things to overlap. Now I'm just grabbing a little bit more of the green metallic paint and I'm going to darken the edges. Now that everything's dry, I'm seeing that the jellyfish lacks a little bit of definition on the edges. So I'm coming in with another metallic paint just to create more contrast. And once everything has dried, we can peel off our masking tape. This is our undersea, underwater tutorial.